try to figure out how we can think about learning in this wild and wacky world of English magical phonology. And so the working premise here is that we're looking at rational learners. And being rational means trying to learn which grammar is the right one uh, by choosing the one that's perceived to be the best. Because when you find the best thing, the rational thing to do is pick that thing, right? So best, and what does best mean? Best in this case means able to account for the most data in the learner's acquisitional intake, because that's the one that's most useful to have. It has the best coverage for the data you're trying to account for. So once we define what the acquisitional intake looks like, we can then ask which grammar, uh, you know, in the hypothesis space defined by each representation is the best one, assuming a rational learner that will choose the grammar that's compatible with the most data, right? It covers the most data, it's the best one. And it turns out that all three English grammars, that is the grammars for both this parametric representation and this parametric representation, as well as the best performing English grammar in the constraint ranking representation, are compatible with like 49 to 59% of the data in English child directed speech. So this is pretty good actually, but can we do better? And that's something that we'll return to in just uh, the next video really.